Hello, I am that British guy and welcome to my Great Balls of Fire predictions. Now, first off, let me just start by saying I'm quite surprised that there is no match between R-Truth and Goldust. It sort of seemed like they were building towards that. But never mind, let's go through the card and I'll let you know who I think is going to win and why. Starting off with the kickoff match, Neville versus Akira Tozawa for the Cruiserweight Championship. This feud has only really just started. Neville has looked very, very good with the belt since he won it at the beginning of the year. And it looked like he may have dropped it to Austin Aries, but I can't really see him dropping it to Akira Tozawa. I think they will try and keep it on him as long as possible to legitimise the Cruiserweight division and the title as much as they can which does beg the question of why they've put it as the kickoff match but obviously they don't hold enough stock in it probably would have made more sense to have Enzo and Cass or even to be honest with the build that it got Seth Rollins and Bray Wyatt as a kickoff match but that was never going to happen so we've got the Cruiserweight Championship match instead speaking of Enzo and Cass that's the first actual match of the pay-per-view proper and I think they really need to protect both guys here. If Enzo loses straight away, he will get forgotten about, I think, quite quickly. But also if Big Cass loses, it kind of undermines his heel turn in the first place. I think what will happen is we'll either have something like a double count out or Enzo more likely will win via disqualification with Big Cass using weaponry or holding him in the ropes or something like that. So I'm going for an Enzo win, but I don't think it will be a clean win. I think it will be because Big Cass loses the match rather than Enzo winning. Next, we have the Intercontinental title match between The Miz and Dean Ambrose, and hopefully this will be the last time for a very long time we see these guys in the ring together. Miz presumably will be flanked by his Miz of Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel, and presumably Maurice as well. And because of that, I think The Miz will win this match and hopefully go on to a new challenger. Fingers crossed gold dust, but you never know. Um, so yeah, definitely going for a Miz win here. Next up, we have the 30-minute Iron Man match for the Raw Tag Team Championships between Sheamus and Cesaro and the Hardys. And I think this will run to a draw meaning that Sheamus and Cesaro will keep the belts. This will probably mean that the feud will be able to continue on to SummerSlam, where I think it will culminate there. And I think Sheamus and Cesaro will be behind right at the end and manage to get that final point, probably by shenanigans or some kind of heelish tactics, to just about hold on to the belts by getting the draw. Seth Rollins versus Bray Wyatt, the match nobody cares about. And although Bray Wyatt probably needs this win because he loses seemingly every single feud that he is involved in, I don't think they will have him go over Seth Rollins here. I think Seth is too highly valued, so Seth will probably win this match fairly cleanly and hopefully move on to somebody else because this is a dead feud that nobody cares at all about. Raw Women's Championship match next between Alexa Bliss and Sasha Banks. This feud has only really just properly started. So I think in order to keep it going a bit longer, Sasha Banks probably needs to win the match. But I do think that Alexa Bliss will probably keep hold of the championship. So maybe using a weapon or count out in order to lose the match but keep hold of the title allowing Sasha a rematch at SummerSlam where she will probably win there so I'm going for a Sasha Banks win but I'm also saying that Alexa Bliss will manage to hold on to her championship next up the ambulance match between Roman Reigns and Braun Strowman and this one's very interesting because there's a lot of rumours going around about the Roman Reigns-Brock Lesnar match, which was supposedly billed for WrestleMania 34, being brought forward to SummerSlam. So you would assume that Roman Reigns will win here and Brock Lesnar will retain his title and they will go off towards SummerSlam to face each other there. 
However, you've got the older story of Braun Strowman supposedly was meant to be facing Brock Lesnar at Great Balls of Fire. And obviously because of his injury, that got pushed back to SummerSlam. So my thinking here is because Roman Reigns came out a couple of weeks ago and declared himself the new number one contender, I think Braun will beat Roman here. And because of that, he will be declared the new number one contender and he will go on to the title match at SummerSlam himself. Or Braun will win here and at least be legitimised as a potential challenger and maybe Roman Reigns will beat Braun Strowman on an episode of Raw before SummerSlam and still get his title match. But I think because of that, just to kind of drag that um, thread out a little bit longer, I think Braun Strowman will beat Roman Reigns at Great Balls of Fire and then they will have a number one contendership short program going into SummerSlam. That leads us on to the main event, the Universal title match between Brock Lesnar and Samoa Joe. And I can't really see this going any other way than Brock Lesnar winning, unfortunately. Samoa Joe has done an excellent job his side in building this feud especially obviously as he's been on raw every single week but i don't think they will be giving him the title unfortunately even though he probably deserves it there has been a lot of talk of brock lesnar losing the title at SummerSlam instead of holding it all the way to wrestlemania which i believe was the initial plan but i don't think he will be dropping it against samoa joe unfortunately he might drop it at SummerSlam. And managed to pick it up again, maybe at Survivor Series or the Royal Rumble, leading to Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar still at WrestleMania 34. But I don't think he will be dropping it at Great Balls of Fire in his first defence since winning it at WrestleMania 33. I think he needs to properly legitimise it a bit more with at least one title defence. So I'm going for a Brock Lesnar win. And they were my predictions. Not good if you are a challenger for any of the titles, because although we've got five title matches on the card, granted two of those groups of champions, Sheamus and Cesaro and Alexa Bliss, I've predicted won't be winning their match, they will all still be walking out as champion. What do you make of my predictions? What are your predictions? Are they quite different from mine, or are we quite similar there? Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to the channel. Find me on Facebook and you can also follow me on Twitter at RightlyWrongly. I've been That British Guy and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.